Peace be with you. Welcome back to my channel for another video, another spiritual download. If this is the first time that you're coming across my channel, I just want to greet you by saying, hey there, hi there, and hello there. You're more than welcome to like the video, share the video, comment, maybe watch a few other videos before you decide whether or not you want to like, share, and or subscribe. Listen, whatever you feel that you need to do, whatever you feel by way of your higher self, spirit guided you here to do, I need you to know that at our first meeting, I'm absolutely supporting you in that energy. I am. I just want you to keep the same energy. More importantly, it's so important to discern what's for you and what's not. This eliminates confusion by way of other people's stories. This el eliminates you trying to put on shoes that absolutely don't fit, right? If you're returning back to the channel that you already know, the downloads are for real under this moon cycle. It's a very emotional thing right now, right? Somebody, y'all, I got the download. Let me just dive right into it. Let's just go ahead and and, and expose it for what it's, what it's for. Somebody could be trying to get away from karma, all right? Trying to create some racket, uh, distractions, some noise, you know, more so noise like mental noise. Somebody wants you in the nine of swords, eight of swords, redundant cycle, shadow energy. Somebody wants you to keep reliving the past. There's really no other way else to say it. When I think about people like this, they're interesting to me and very peculiar because I'm thinking, what does that look like when you're projecting depression, anxiety onto somebody or you know that they've gotten through the dark night of the soul by way of conquering their own demons, but something in you just won't let you rest to the point where you want them to stay in the cycle. Now, this particular reading is very much um, in a weird little way, piggybacking off of the previous reading where I talked about the gatekeepers losing their keys and the locksmiths are under judgment. Somebody wanted to unlock certain caverns and or memories in your mind to keep you bound to a certain cycle, to block your intuition so you couldn't move forward. Right before I did this video, I pulled some cards just to kind of feel the energy and the high priestess came up in reverse and the eight of cups. All of this is so you can't walk away. Somebody likes you better when you're, when you're a little spazzed out. <laughs> like this person could be speaking weird ass shit over you, like schizophrenia, depression. Let me tell you why I don't take this lightly and why I call bullshit. I'm gonna tell you why. You get certain tarot card readers and they're like, oh, you know, your mental health, maybe you need some help. Maybe you need to go do X, Y, Z. All the while they know that most people that are going in to get mental health got spiritual gifts. Anybody that's made it this far in their evolution knows that any physical ailment stems from something emotional and or spiritual. 10 times out of 10, it's spiritual black magic or a generational curse or some type of entity that's been attached to your lineage and now it's your turn to slay the dragon. Maybe the people before you couldn't slay it. Now, some people are like, oh my God, be careful, you know? about giving medical advice. Well, I'm gonna tell you, I'm giving metaphysical advice. And I will tell you that every single ailment that you have, anything that you're feeling in your physical body stems from something by way of a spiritual violation or breaking of the spiritual law. Science will never tell you that. They'll never tell you that most people that have cancer have deep-seated resentments. They'll never tell you that people that have been diagnosed with schizophrenia usually struggle between reality by way of religion and or spirituality. They'll never tell you that, but they know it. You know why? Because they're not giving medication like they used to. You know what they're recommending now by way of behavioral health? Meditation, researching the Kundalini experience. How do I know? I was in the medical field for 11 years. I actually went to a medical magnet high school and studied with doctors. They were studying these things way back then by way of XY chromosomes trying to figure out what the brown germ was. And this was piggybacking off of L. Ron Hubbard's work that talked about certain things in the psyche, like the little glitch, right? Mm. Back in the day, they used to call it possession. A lot of these people, a lot of these people had gifts, doors open that needed to be closed dimensions, okay? 
generation, gen, excuse me, generational curses on their lineage that needed to be broken. Somebody's in heavy regret. I told you when that nine of swords energy goes back to you talk about reality versus fiction and you don't know the difference. Oh yeah. Hmm. Never call somebody crazy because you don't know what they're battling. I've talked to a lot of people and nine times out of 10, somebody either did some black magic over them. Somebody's either projecting over them. Somebody conjured up a deity over them, wanted to see them spaz out. People like this are very sadistic. They like to see people suffer. Now they're not satisfied. Oh, they're not satisfied. Why? Because the suicide spell didn't work. The depression spell went back to cinder. Now these people are in the nine of swords, five of cups. Five of cups is giving me grief. Five of cups gives me suicide spell return to cinder. Somebody is grieving the loss of themselves, deciding whether or not they even want to be here. Five of cups is mourning for me. It gives me funeral vibes is what it gives me. Four of cups. Yeah. Listen. Now in spiritual court, you're going over your past investments. Six of cups. Somebody from the past is thinking about what they did. With the six of cups and the seven of cups, this was something that somebody did over and over and over and over. You were supposed to take yourself out. Everybody wanted, or everybody, or whoever these people are, we'll pull more cards, but these people wanted everybody to see you as crazy is what I was going to say. They did not want people to listen to you. They wanted to, you know, see you out in the street looking cuckoo, looking crazy, like, you know, spazzing out. I'm going to tell you something, y'all. True story. I knew this lady that was married to this warlock. He was heavy, heavy in Santaria. Okay? 22 years he was married to this woman. He cheated on this woman every step of the way. Okay? This was a friend of my family that was connected to my brother-in-law, right? At the time. Do you know, when I started to get more into my spirituality, I started to see more of the darkness in him and just how he kept his wife bound. She had no education. She never left the house. She always took care of the children. The moment she started to awaken and that spell broke off, that binding spell, that illusionary spell, and she started to see, do you know what he did? He tried to smote her mind. One day she went in her house because she was ready to finally leave him. This is a good example of why you shouldn't stay so long with these dark ass people. This man had cheated on her left and right. And she was like, I just don't know why I can't leave him. As I got older, because I was the younger of this group. Like this was like my brother-in-law, his friends, their wife, whatever, the wife or whatever. They knew my sister and my, my older brother. Me and my sister are 10 years apart. So they were a lot older than me, right? Long story short, the more I got into spirituality, the more I got into um, understanding chaos magic, deities, entities, you know, um, I realized that people really did this in real life to really take people out. This was a beautiful woman. She finally broke free of this spell. Then here comes the divorce. This man had a good paying job. She hadn't worked in 22 years. She was about to take him for more than half. And she had children. Do you know that that woman is in the streets right now? Bat shit crazy. This man did something to her. Now, conveniently, now he's a devout Christian. Stays in his Bible, reads his word. Really? I saw what you did by way of Santaria. I saw that sacrifice that you had your sister do. I'm like, this was a beautiful woman. So my sister's telling me the story. She's like, yeah, you remember? Da, 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 da. I'm like, yeah, what happened? She says she walked in her house one day and she kept saying, something's in here, something's in here. They said they found the lady in a closet covered with a sheet over her. Last we heard, she was like going to and fro in this state of confusion, driving around, looking around, not knowing her ass from a hole in the ground, all because... She woke up from his spell and she would not let this man cheat on her. This is years and years and years of slow manipulation. Okay, man, listen, I said, oh, now you want to quote Bible scriptures? 
when you sacrificed whatever you sacrificed to that person you got that deity on your wife's ass all because she was about to take you out see when the spell work backfires and when the spells break off of the person now you got to deal with your soul being under judgment took an innocent beautiful woman when i mean beautiful absolutely beautiful good mother beautiful home this person you know she had everything she wanted one day she found herself and woke up started looking good ended up leaving you know the house more Filed for divorce, was like, no, I'm good. I found myself, got a boyfriend. Filing for divorce was about to take this person out. This person went to a powerful spiritual practitioner and had somebody drive this woman crazy. So when you hear people saying, oh my God, she's crazy, or you see people crazy in the streets, you need to watch your mouth. You don't know what the hell somebody did to them to have them that way. You don't know. Queen of Swords is here. You see right through to the bullshit. Somebody's mad because you're too wise for whatever the hell they're trying to conjure up. This person that I'm telling y'all about, last time I saw him by way of social media, he just looked like he hadn't slept in a month of Sundays. Dark circles under his eyes. I'm like, how dare you? He knows that I'm clairvoyant. He knows that I do cards. He knows that I know. So one night I had a dream about him in my dream and I let him know that I know right he tried to come for me spiritually that shit backfired quick real quick you can fly your ass down to Mexico Puerto Rico wherever the hell you got to go baby but one thing I know is one thing's for certain and two things for sure your soul is under judgment for whatever the hell you did so I had hit him up you know, I hadn't talked to him in like 10 years and I'd heard about this woman. I said, hey, I had a dream about you and your ex-wife. Is everything OK? He never responded. That's that person is being tormented. So now here you are trying to drive somebody crazy, drove that woman crazy. You're like, we don't know what happened. All of a sudden she went in the house and she was saying something was in the house. Don't you know you bound to that devil? Don't you know you bound to that demon? You hurt an innocent person. This person ended up doing drugs, all kinds of stuff. Mental health couldn't help her. So when I hear people saying, oh, well, you might need to go get some check. And those are usually the people doing the black magic. Let's keep it real. Pull out the voodoo dolls. You're usually the ones that's doing it. Now that we're under judgment, death is here. Spirit is not taking no bullshit, no half-ass apologies, no, I don't know what the hell, why the hell, what if these people wish poverty, mental insanity on somebody, on people, okay? Sit your ass down in spiritual court, all because you're the empress, all because you're shining, all because you have good things coming. Now, these people are in the five of pentacles. Death is coming. What I mean by death, let me tell you how death comes. I know somebody that did witchcraft on me. Do you know that this person has had seven deaths this year? And it's not by way of me. I just continued on my path. I shook it off, cleansed myself, moved about, could see through the veil, saw through the illusion, kept it pushing. Every time I look up, somebody's dying in this person's family. I had a dream about this person, okay? Going down to New Orleans, Trinidad, wherever the hell they went. I said, why is she in my dream? And I didn't understand what it was. The spirit was showing me like, look, just watch. But you keep going. Don't get your hands dirty. You don't even have to touch this. Your ancestors are all over it. This person's had seven deaths, possibly eight, one just recently. When they say karma comes, and it's unfortunate because people standing next to this person are standing next to them and their toxic ass karma is what happens, right? I knew what she did. I forgave her. I don't talk to her directly, but I know her, okay? And I'm just looking like, wow, that's judgment. 
Sometimes people are begging to die, hoping that the karma comes to them. And it'll take out everybody in your family, everybody in your lineage, anybody that was involved, right? Yeah, it's a no-no. It's a no-win situation. This is not a victory. Six of Wands in reverse. It's not a victory. These are these people. These people are out in the cold. Somebody could go through some serious ass poverty for what they've done. Like seriously. So when I hear a spiritual practitioner, somebody that's posing as if they're a part of the soul tribe, somebody that does tarot, that's a leader, say, oh, well, yeah, maybe there's really something wrong with you. You need to go to mental health. People like that are dangerous to me. Because it's like, are you religious or are you spiritual? Let, let's figure this out. Now, some people are really too far gone to get any help. I'm going to be honest with you. Some people have had this stuff done to them since they were children. Right? Some of them do need to be hospitalized. But I'm going to be honest with you. Psychotropic medications and stuff making you feel like lunch meat mentally are not helping you. I've watched people go through the awakening. I've talked to somebody who was a licensed psychologist when I lost my baby, confide in me about how what they learned in psychology wasn't sitting well with what they learned by way of spirituality. 40 years of practice, one of the best psychiatrists on the planet. You know what he told me after my meeting, after they told me to go get some therapy because you lost your baby. And I did. I needed to talk to somebody. Right. You know what he told me? He says, you're strong. He says, you're going to help people. He said, you would be a really good therapist. He ended up telling me about his life. How he sat with some of the top killers in prisons and, and psychoanalyze them. Why people really get into psychology is to figure out their own minds. Oof. We won't go too deep, but listen, somebody wanted a victory. Somebody wanted you out in the cold. Somebody wanted you to not be loved. Somebody is mad because you got new love coming in. This is their motive. They want you to be seen as somebody who is crazy, out of their mind, running around to and fro. What they didn't see is that you a whole mother freaking guru out here. This person has the nerve to want to come in and offer you a cup of love. I'm hearing that song. What's that song? We've been on a tragedy for months. Why can't you believe in me for once? Maybe we can be more chill tonight. I want to be the person that picks your body up when you're down and out. This is what this person is saying. This person is unwell. You need this person crazy so you can come in and be the savior. This person's like, you're my kind of crazy. Yeah, because you turned this person crazy or you projected something onto a divine being that did not go for it. The only reason I know it didn't work is because the Ace of Wands is here. A new beginning. Somebody wants you dependent on them. They want to play the master of you. They want puppet strings attached to your mind to think for you, to have you looking crazy and out here looking cuckoo. This person's been possessed by the entity. Whatever this is, Ten of Swords is here. Somebody's about to get their ass handed to them. Somebody's about to get their ass handed to them. Somebody thought that they were greater than the most high and came up against a real mother freaking light being. Now you couldn't stop. You wanted this person crazy. I just want this person to go crazy. I want this person to be delusional. I just didn't. What? So you can come back and pick their body up when they're down and out. This person could have wished a tragedy on you. That song, we've been on a tragedy for months. It's like a hook to a song. Why can't you believe in me for once? That's the song I'm hearing. Maybe we can be more chill tonight. Listen, this person wanted you to only see them as the end all be all. I can't make it up. I'll never make it up. Nine of swords, anxiety, depression, stress. Somebody paid somebody to do this to you. Project this energy onto you. Somebody could be at a distance from you. 
okay? Mad that you got something going on, three of cups. These are people that you could have celebrated with. I'm getting a lover, though, that doesn't want you to move forward and have new love. Because right before, again, I did this particular reading, it showed the high priestess in reverse. Somebody wants to block and or blind your intuition. When you start doing head magic, whoo, when you start going for somebody's psyche, third eye, I just heard spirit guys say, off with your head. Somebody came for somebody real powerful. And if you weren't powerful at first, maybe you went through some moments where you're like, damn, am I stressed out? Like, maybe I need some help. You rose above it. You noticed that the energy left when you left these people behind because the two of wands is somebody that's at a distance, right? You know when that energy comes towards you or whatever the hell this is. I'm getting somebody scrying, looking in a mirror, just really projecting some dark ass stuff like sadness, depression. Really what you're feeling is how they feel. In order to project this energy, you got to be in an anxious, depressed, sad, mad, angry. You have to embody that energy in order to project it onto somebody else. Somebody wants you to feel their pain. Somebody wants you crazy with them. Somebody wants to pick your body up when you're down and out. Ooh, you crazy. Ooh, show me what I need to see. That nine of swords energy in reverse ain't cute, huh? When it comes back and it returns to sender, guess what? You too damn spiritually protected. Knock it the hell off. Get the hell up out of here. You did this to somebody that was psychic. Y'all hear the thunder outside? You hear that thunder? Stop playing. Stop playing with the light beams. Stop it. You want to do it again? Go ahead. Guess what? You fooling with an intuitive psychic being. Queen of Cups is caring, loving, kind. This person's purpose in this world is vital and essential. And the gods are intervening on behalf of these people and or this person. You better knock it off. Somebody met your ancestors. Your ancestors were standing right beside them, watching them. Three of Pentacles is a collaborative effort. Somebody got other people to get in on this. Wanted you chaotic, wanted you lost, confused, crazy, losing your mind, no joy, no this. Oh, I'm just going to kill myself. What the hell you think this is, boo? This is real life. This is somebody that's chosen and or ordained to do something great. Did I not just tell you the story about the guy that I knew that did this to this woman? Do you know at the time in my walk, I started praying for the woman and I could Feel the darkness around this woman. They're like, yeah, she just been driving from city to city and going around and they don't know what's wrong. And you hear the thunder. That's judgment. That's justice. Keep playing. Continue. Spirit is saying, let them. Hmm. This is what somebody told me about that lady. I started praying for her. But I too was under spiritual attack and going through my dark night of the soul. And all I could do was just surrender her to the most high God and hope the best. This was a beautiful woman that somebody just decided to hex and curse. All illusions. None of it's real. Oh, I think I'm seeing things. Oh, I think I'm going through something. Shut the hell up. Ain't nobody going through a damn thing. Find your strength for a thing. You got a strong bloodline. Focus. You're psychic, intuitive, clairvoyant, caring, loving, kind. The fact that you got a pure heart is why the ancestors and or the universe is whooping these people's ass. It is a return to center type of an energy. It's chaotic. They can't take half of what they projected onto you and paid somebody to do. This is why they sitting up in the nine of swords now sleepless nights. All the depression spells, all the suicide spells, all the chaos spells, all the, you know, blinded somebody's third eye, whatever it is they thought was funny at the time. Somebody was laughing. Somebody thought this was funny. Somebody started rumors. Oh, yeah. um, uh, You know, he's schizophrenic. Oh, yeah. She's schizophrenic. Oh, OK. Well, the ancestors are like, all right, that's cool. We got this. You just stay on your walk. You just stay focused. Why would you try to put a veil over somebody that can see through the veil, dummy? This is a psychic. If they can't see with their eyes wide open, they're absolutely going to see when they're asleep. What are you talking about? Spirit talks to them. 
Show me what I need to see. I just don't like people messing with innocent people. So when I saw somebody like say this, like, oh, well, maybe you need to seek mental health. Like you're not no real spiritualist. You're not. Because you know that real mental health ain't helping nobody right now. You know how I know? I walked away from a company that was turning people away for mental health. Why? Because we're under the great awakening. They know a lot of what they fed to us by way of giving people pills and, oh, take Prozac. Okay, that don't work. We'll take this. Oh, that don't work. We'll take this. They know that a lot of that was bullshit. And now the bell is being lifted. Why? Because they're under judgment. When I had a psychologist tell me after I lost my baby about the Kundalini awakening, the third eye opening that most of the people that were in mental hospitals had gone through the dark night of the soul and they just didn't survive. Everybody don't survive that dark night of the soul. Everybody don't survive it. You got to overcome shit from past lifetimes. They don't tell you the dynamics, the schematics, the mathematics, the geometry by way of portals and dimensions and last lifetimes and future lifetimes and whatever the hell you at. You got to determine where it is that you are at that present moment by way of your spiritual ascension. It's not an easy process. This is why a lot of people are called, but not a lot of people answer that call. A lot of people prefer to stay in the box. It's not easy being able to see everything. But in that, there's obligation by way of being responsible. These people came for people that were very spiritually responsible, not abusing their gifts, but using them to help people. Somebody did this more recently, could have been by way of this recent moon, to keep you in a cycle so that they could come in and be the hero, the shero, and save you when your body is down and out. How twisted and sick do you got to be? To only want somebody that is in a slave's mentality that can't think for themselves. You came for the right queen of cups. You came for the right people. You came for divine beings. That's why a lot of people are like, I've never been like this. This just happened five years ago. This just happened two years ago. This, this just came out of nowhere. No, you were on an ascension. Not to mention the world has been chaotic with COVID and all this other stuff. Yeah, you were on an ascension and somebody projected it onto you. Yeah, somebody wanted you unbalanced. Somebody wanted you unbalanced, mentally unstable, financially unstable irrational in your thinking not happy not awakened this shit backfired in a way that i don't even think these people see coming if they don't see it coming it's already blindsided them they are now in confusion show me these people archangel michael please and thank you stop playing with these divine beings you heard that judgment. Now they want to come in and be friends. This is this is some this is like manipulative energy. Manipulative. Waiting for you to be in the five of pentacles, homeless, sad, sick, depressed, crazy. Oh, oh, what am I gonna do? All the while, you a whole queen of cups. You see these fools coming. You can see what they're doing. You're like, mm, interesting. Somebody did a death spell. Somebody did a chaos spell. Somebody did some mental magic. Like, what are you talking about? You got to pick a side in this spiritual game. It's not for shits and giggles. In real life, it ain't for shits and giggles. You got to choose whether or not you're following religion or you're following spirituality. Religiously. So if you get a spiritual practitioner and they're pushing religion, oh, well, maybe you need to go to mental health. That's usually the person doing it. Anybody that can really, really look in is going to tell you, okay, look, this is some type of curse in your lineage. Somebody did some type of magic. Maybe this is a sin that fell on your head that doesn't even belong to you, but maybe your mother did some type of magic. Like this is real for real. Like when I go into channel, I'm going into channel. I ain't make it this far to be sitting up here playing with nobody and the money that y'all pay for y'all private readings. You already know how we get down behind the scenes. Fast forward now that we starting to see through these illusions or whatever the hell they doing. I told you I'm coming to get my soul tribe. 
I'm coming to help my soul tribe. Period. Knight of Pentacles. These old weirdos fast forward want to come in now with some type of offer and friendship. Like, what are you thinking? Y'all crazy. Yeah, they really going crazy. They're trying to convince themselves. It's only an illusion. It's only an illusion. No, that's only your energy. That's only your energy. Return to sender. Return to sender. Like, if you don't knock it off, who gave you the authority to try to stop somebody's destiny out of jealousy and all because you got new love coming in. You've gone through a major transformation by way of death. These people are now collaborating, having conversations like, okay, well, what's going on? We don't know. Okay. Behind the scenes trying to figure out why the hell this stuff ain't working no more. Maybe there was a point that it was working and that's because you were in the bed with the enemy. The person was right next to you. Yeah, it had nowhere to go. They just kept sending it back. This is a failed plan. Something's stuck for these people. Somebody really got some post-traumatic stress behind doing black magic. It's self-induced. Show me what it is I need to see. Yeah, it's a wrap. The chapter's been closed. There's nothing else to see here. They thought that they were going to sit back and watch you be in some type of show by way of you looking like a looney tune. No, it ain't working. Yeah. All because you could possibly have a new beginning with the King of Wands, a soulmate, by way of the helping hand of the Most High. This is what this is about. Temperance, heavy on the Sagittarius energy. This is part one. I'm going to come back and do part two. I need to charge my phone. Until the next video, peace be with you.